Hi, Ray right here with I Like Transformers Before It Was Cool, and today we'll be reviewing Transformers Ultra Alternator Smokescreen, which is one of my favorite figures, because I love rally cars, I love Super Imprezas, and I just love the alternate design itself because they're basically model cars to transform. So, here, here he is inside of MP4's trailer. Now, the nice thing with the alternators line was that they're in scale with Masterpiece, Prime, and Megatron. So, they're there and I'll show you later on, it's becoming robot mode, but you see, they could fit inside of Prime's trailer here. Here, let me just open the trailer. You can see, it fits in very well. And so, let's just pull them out of the trailer. You could do a similar thing with the master new newer masterpieces with the smaller downsized MP Prime and like Wheeljack and Prowl. You see, they roll right out. Let's get his chair out of the way. Now I like the Super Impreza, and I like it so much I got every single one that um that they made here in the states. In Japan and Vinyl Tech, there were a couple more Imprezas. They're, they're a little too spendy for me, so I'm not, I'm not gonna buy them right now. But they're just a beautiful car. And then just smokescreen himself. He is based on the the rally car version. So he has the the Subaru uh oh, the delivery. And a neat thing with Zoltar's line is that they have some of them have, have full interiors. To, and Presence on Sale, the first mold doesn't really have a back seat, it's just kind of some, some robot legs there. But if you just look at the, the detail here, like as it says Kenwood, uh, Alpine Stars, NGK, Pirelli tires. And since uh, they're based on cars, their trunks they open up as do their hoods. Some figures they, they have. A a uh, a gun that takes the place of the engine or, or engine part. Like this is the intercooler for the turbocharged flat four that's inside of the Super Impreza. In a remote mode, it flips out into a rifle. But uh, they all roll well of the, 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 um, the Imprezas. And then just a little size comparison with what the newer masterpieces in scale order. You can see they're slightly smaller. And for for some reason, Hasbro when they, when they updated the Dotsons, which is um, Blue Streak Prowl smokescreen, they made them Imprezas. Although Prowl became an Integra in in in, in Daltoner's line. And but so to transform him, we'll well we start by taking out the inner cooler. Then after here, we'll pop off the roof from the back window, then crack the vehicle in half. Because there is a, uh, I can't remember what that's called, hinge joint. Start by opening doors and loosening the back, straightening out his legs, and then you're gonna come on this side, close the door, and then fold the door over, and then the, the fold out feet. You simply pull pull on the bumper. And then you'll pull out his heel right here. You flip it around. It's kind of hard to get it. Just show you on camera and do it at the same time. You're gonna make it so the waist is even like that. Then you're gonna rotate the front of the vehicle around. Open the, the passenger driver's side doors. Fold the seats around. You'll fold those around to form the chest. Fold the seats up. And then there's a little peg and hole there. It'll shut like that. Come around here to pull his arms. I just ripped off his arm, but um, it's just one of these things, so he kind of just pops in. The alternator problem that has a lot of whims that pop off a transformer is the Mustang mold. You're going to pop his head down. You're going to split the windshield, fold the roof back. And it'll pop up the, the scoop there. The head will rise out, fold the doors out. 
And there is smoke screen in robot mode. Now smoke screen just a beautiful figure. If you like rally cars, if you're not really into the whole sponsored car look, you won't maybe you won't like him. You're like one of one of the other Imprezas. And then here he is with his his masterpiece version. And I and I he uh, smoke screen is one of the few G ones I actually own as well. You, you can see here since he's about ten years older than masterpiece. Masterpiece of course is going to have is extra art articulation with the heel and everything. And also the, the budget price for alternators in the States was about $20. These things are 60 to 80 depending which you buy the American or Japanese version. Or 40 bucks if you buy the KO. So, so they came from the same era as MP1. So they have some some posability, but it's not going to be as good as, as masterpieces. Like he he, see, he still has some hips and and a knee joint here. So I guess you could kind of make him do 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 one of those poses. And see him here with, with MP1. He's about the waist height. Which is the same story with the with Masterpiece 10 and the newer Masterpieces. Where did I just put smoke screen? So you can tell there is some of a, a height gap between them, obviously. Now I now I think that the MP10 from like from, from for for cartoon scale is more in scale with the Daltoners versus the new masterpieces. Cause I, cause I remember Autobots only being about as tall as the windshield there, which supposed screen kind of is. The the newer Autobot car masterpieces are a bit shorter. But so yeah, that is Transformers Alternator smoke screen. So I goofed and I actually forgot to do a size comparison. Here he is with a modern Voyager. We're actually they were priced similar to Voyager, so they're about the uh, same size as Voyagers. Older, older Voyager is a little bit taller than, than than alternators. And then here he is with a modern Deluxe. This is off of Bravo from the Combiner Wars line. So that wraps up this video. So so take it easy.